Hi, and welcome to In The Front Row, all things news, reviews, and interviews. My name's Jamie Lee, and today I'll be doing a review of Stranger Things Volume 2. What an emotional roller coaster these last two episodes were. I feel like the smartest thing the Duffer Brothers did was split these two episodes from the rest because I feel like it gave us time to like theorize and predict, and there was a lot of hype around what would happen and who would die, and I feel like it lived up to the hype. That's just my personal opinion. I thought it was amazing. Uh, I have already had a chat about this. I did chat with my friend Tyler, a spoiler chat over on his page. So check the link in the description and head over to his page after this and subscribe to him as well. But I feel like I should probably share my thoughts on my own page as well. So here we are. I'm not going to run through everything that happened. I'm pretty much just going to talk about what I liked and then maybe one thing that I was a bit eh on. Um, so yeah, here we go. I feel like the show was so wholesome because it pretty much included everything. Visually, it looked perfect. There was a great amount of humor for something that's sci-fi and drama. There was a lot of tension about who would die. There was awesome story writing. There was love scenes, which I totally appreciate. And of course there was perfect acting. I feel like the show really had it all. So let's talk about my favorite scenes or the scenes that I thought were visually brilliant. I really, really loved the desert scenes. I thought those shots were so, so beautiful, but my favorite shots were the ones at the ball where it was all decorated beautifully, like how Max remembers it from her good memories. And then suddenly it changes when Vecna enters and it becomes like dark and scary. You know, you've got the balloons popping blood and it just goes from this really beautiful scene to something that's super scary. And also I really loved this shot here, how they were all falling from the real world into the upside down. I thought those shots or that point of view was so so cool and another scene that I really really liked watching was the one with Hopper and the Demogorgon I just really loved that slow-mo action how he was coming in with the sword but I must say like how convenient that that sword is just sitting there when he's conveniently run out of bullets I was like mm, okay but either way that shot was so so beautifully done next up I talk about the humor I feel like there was a good amount of humor in a show that was like completely heartbreaking uh, my favorite favorite scene the one that I found the funniest is this one <laughs> Does he want us to do a plot? I thought that was really funny and also it was really fun when Eddie put on the Michael Myers mask and was like hijacking the caravan and then you've got the music that sounds like the Halloween theme song in the background it was just really cool and then I thought Yuri's line about the plane was absolutely hilarious as well she is still a virgin that Katinka no but this Katinka pretty much on spoil so those were some of the moments that I thought were quite funny in the show there was also moments where I thought the story like really linked in together and it really made my heart feel happy uh, that was the moment where or there was a few moments but one of the moments was where Eleven was uh, lifting the tank lifting Nina and at first I thought mm, random but then it linked in with the fact that she was able to lift the chopper like elevate the chopper before essentially bringing it down but before that you know they were I guess showing us that you know she's back to her full potential she can you know lift heavy objects now and yeah that showed that lifting the tank she was able to therefore lift the chopper I thought that was like really really fitting and showed us that she was back to her full strength and her full power I love that all throughout volume one Elle thought she was the monster that she'd killed all of these Hawkins lab children when in fact it was Vecna but even when she found out it was Vecna she still didn't even really blame him so it was nice in this episode one that she got to call out out Dr. Brenner and basically blame him because she said that he is the monster. He tested on them. He kept them locked up in this prison. So it was really, really interesting to see her do that. And then also his death scene, you know, she never really forgave him. He was asking for forgiveness, asking her to understand, and she just walked off and let him die. So I thought that was really, really interesting to end their relationship. Another fitting moment for me was when the kids were talking about their plan to get Vecna and Max said, Try not to mess. And then when Nancy was sawing off her shoddy, getting ready for battle, which is totally freaking badass, she says back to Max, I won't miss. And I thought that was just perfect. More beautiful moments were when Will was talking to Mike about his feelings, or kind of talking about his feelings, because he was saying that they were Elle's feelings, but really we all know that they were his. I thought that moment was really, really heartbreaking, but also really, really good writing. And I really like how that linked in with Jonathan and Jonathan having this speech with his brother saying that he'll love him no matter what, like nothing 
nothing will change that. I feel like that's really good that Will now has somebody to support him because someone's got to write. Like nobody's really acknowledging Will at all at the moment. Uh, and it also gave Jonathan something to do because I feel like throughout the whole of season four, Jonathan was just sort of floating on by. He didn't really have anything to do at all. So it sort of gave his character a purpose this season. And it was really, really nice that he noticed his absence and that he can now support his brother. And then obviously there was the tension and the hype around who would die. And honestly, I bought straight into this hype. I really thought five people would die. So I was predicting the whole time who would die, who's going to go. And there were moments in the show where I thought like a range of people would go. Obviously, Max was first up on the chopping list because she's been marked by Vecna, right? So obviously we knew something would happen there. But even with Lucas, there was a moment with his sister and I thought, hmm, Lucas could go. And then with Steve, when he was talking about his future and his baby Harrington's, which I laughed at when he was talking about getting practice and, you know, having six children and he's had practice with the six children that he's babysat. I thought that was super, super cool. But yeah, when he was having that chat with Nancy and then obviously when Dustin said to him, You can be the hero, Steve. Absolutely. I thought for sure Steve is a gonna. And I was mentally trying to prepare myself for Steve's death, which I really did didn't want to prepare myself for. But when he said that, I thought maybe Dustin might be a hero and he might die off. That might be a bold choice. But then I did a rewatch and I can't believe that I missed it the first time, but Eddie totally foreshadowed his death with this line here. There will be no more retreating from Eddie the Banished. He was literally telling us that he was going to die and oh, that hurts my heart. It really was upsetting to hear him talk about how when Chrissy died, he just ran away and that that tied in with the beautiful writing in his death scene where he said, I didn't run away this time, right? No, 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 no. you didn't run. Like Eddie the Banished didn't retreat this time. Like, oh my gosh, so, so sad. I bawled my eyes out. I cried so much through this episode. I put it on Facebook just for a laugh, but yeah, honestly, it was super, super sad. And I also bawled my eyes out when Dustin was talking to his uncle. I just find it really, really heartbreaking that he fought for this town and this town still sees him as a villain. Like there was no justice for him. And his death was like for nothing, but yet he was such a hero. That really, really hurts my heart. It makes me really upset. And it was super, super, super sad when Dustin was talking to him about being a hero and he gave him his necklace, which had the guitar pick on it. I was like, oh my gosh, so, so sweet. So, so sad. And then don't even get me started on the Max scenes. Like, oh my gosh, she's a child. And like that was my flaw with this show right i really wanted someone from the main group to die because i feel like there's been four seasons and not one main character has died off and like yeah you could say that max is a, i consider her a main character now but she really came into it in season two so none of the main kids the core kids from season one have ever died off and i thought that was a little bit of a a little bit of a stretch when you're coming onto, you know, four seasons coming into a fifth season soon. And I really thought they'd kill someone off. And I really wanted that at the beginning of volume one. But when I saw those scenes of Max, I bawled. I was like, I didn't want this. I don't want this. Her saying that she's scared. She doesn't want to go. Right after she said that stuff about wanting to die and praying that Vecna would take her like she wished upon Billy. I just thought those moments were so, so sad. But yeah, when she was actually scared and, you know, she was saying she couldn't feel, she couldn't see, my heart was breaking. And I thought, I didn't want this. I didn't, I'm so sorry that I said that I wanted this because I really didn't want this. It was really, really sad. And yeah, the, I'm, I'm so torn with that because I do feel like story-wise someone needs to go. But oh, I just, when I saw that, I was like, I don't want them to go. And I look at them and I'm like, they're children, they're babies. They shouldn't be put through this. So oh, the whole thing is just very confusing and very, very sad. I'm getting upset just thinking about it all again. And I don't want to get upset. So let's talk about the good things. The things that I loved, which was the love moments. Um, I really, really liked the scenes with Mike and Elle. Mike tried to say, I love you in this moment. But the bloody A guy interrupted, which I guess was for the best because they saved that beautiful moment for when Mike was trying to get Elle out of that that void out of the darkness and out of the tub. I thought the writing in those scenes were absolutely beautiful. I like how in the van when Mike and Will were talking that they expressed that Mike didn't feel good enough for Elle. That links up with him not being able to say I love you to her when they had their first fight there. And I just feel like it was really beautiful how he expressed 
or the writing, how they wrote that he expressed his love for her and that he finally did get to say, I love you in the end. I love you. I thought that was really, really good. Then there were some really sweet moments with Lucas and Max. I thought it was very sweet how Max came to the realization that she has to find the light, you know, because Vecna pulls from their dark memories. So she needs to find the happy ones and the light ones. And I thought it was really cute how Lucas was asking, you know, if he's in them happy moments with her. And yeah, those moments, they were really cute. And also when he asked her on a date using the notepads and he was eagerly waiting for her reply and was like, peeking over to see what she wrote down. I thought those moments were really, really cute. But obviously my favorites are Steve and Nancy. Their chemistry is just unstoppable. I have no idea how they can act that amazingly because yeah, Nancy's eyes, just the way she does those like puppy dog eyes looking at him, it's just so beautiful. And yeah, vice versa, you know, him staring at her back and the long overdrawn looks, it's just so, so perfect. And I really love the writing in uh, Steve's speech where they were in the woods and he was talking about how he wishes he had met another girl before her, fallen in love and got like bumped on the head so that he could be put in the right direction so that when he did find her, he would already be mature and sensible enough to be in a relationship and then when he said that Nancy was the one in his dreams with him and the six kids oh my gosh my heart you could hear it beating so so fast so so loud it's just such a beautiful moment every moment with them is totally beautiful and I really enjoy that I really hope that in season five we get to see Steve and Nancy and their six little Harrington kids that would be very very cute um but yeah I think that's a bit of a stretch but anyway and also we got to see the Joyce and Hopper kiss finally. That was really cute. I did laugh that Hopper was talking about dreaming about food. Meanwhile, Joyce was like, what about me? <laughs> like, were you not dreaming about me? I thought those moments were pretty funny as well. But yeah, they finally got to kiss, which is good. So yeah, I love this show so, so much. I feel like there's only one thing that I could like pick on and that's the fact that the ending felt really rushed to me. Two days had passed and they went to the cabin and everything's happy-go-lucky, like everything's fine. But I feel like nobody really grieved Eddie. I mean, there was the scenes with Dustin and his uncle, but like from the group, uh, I don't even think he was mentioned at all at their reunion. And so I just feel like, did anybody care from the group that Eddie died? And if not, like he wasn't very impactful. And that was really confusing to me because I felt like cheated, I guess. I felt like if he wasn't that impactful to the group as a whole, then why didn't they be bold and kill off somebody who was impactful or somebody who really would have made a difference to that core group of kids? I mean, you could argue that Max was killed off, but is she technically dead? Do you know what I mean? So, um, I mean, there are scenes with her were absolutely heartbreaking, but yeah, death wise, like proper, this person is not coming back. Uh, I just felt a little bit cheated that yeah Eddie wasn't really mourned and no one really grieved for him but anyway that's just me being picky and maybe because I was such a fan of Eddie that I feel like he deserved his justice and you know he didn't get it with the town and now he didn't get it with the kids I don't know maybe I'm just feeling a little bit sad for him anyway I am super excited for the fifth season I can't wait to see what the Duffers bring to the table I'm really excited to see how they're going to use Max if Max will be a vessel for Vecna to do some killings or if the kids will use Max as a vessel to get to Vecna and kill him that way. I'm really interested because they've left that like wide open to really take it wherever they want. Obviously, I want to see Elle with her powers at full force again. She was a total badass in this. Acting was phenomenal. But yeah, just to see, you know, what potential she can have specifically to do with the flying, because that was really brought up a lot in season four. So I'm curious to see if she might be able to fly in the future. And of course, I can't wait to see more of the Steve and Nancy moments. Are we going to get a future Steve Harrington family with Nancy? I'm not quite sure, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Anyway, so those were my thoughts. If you're still here at the end of this video, I thank you so much because I know there's a lot of videos about Stranger Things at the moment. I have an interview coming up with one of the girls from Stranger Things. She's number nine. So yeah, keep an eye out for that one. That's really exciting. I'm really happy that I got to chat with Chloe. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and then head on over to my Instagram and give me a follow over there as well, please. Okay, sweet as. Have a good day. Bye.